Brewing Company in Fort Worth. Sorry, it's a little noisy. We are going to enjoy some craft beer and have a few flights. So join us and we will catch you whenever we're drinking some flats. See ya. Got our flight. Let's get it. What's up? We got our flight with top flight. Top flight, yes sir. And we're gonna start from the left to the right like usual, um, or your right to left. First one is called Horse With No Name, and it is a lager, but a India Pale Lager. So let's get into it. Not sure what this one uh, tastes like. Doesn't have a very specific description. Oh man, they smell good. They smell real good, guys. Sorry. Mm, it's Pour really another drink the whole thing. That's really, really good. Oh yeah. It's really good. Oh so, yeah, they go down like a The shot. way I would describe it is a um, horse with no name. I would describe it as a, a lighter um, IPA. And it, it's it kind of has like mm. a little fruity mm. taste to it. Maybe it's brewed with citra, uh, but it's it still has that lighter lager finish. To it, so I I'm I really really like that beer, oh, especially yeah. it's it's pretty hot outside right now. So I'm gonna give it an eight five for for yeah. the start. That's, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I, I think it was pretty smooth. I mean, there's not there's not really a, a better way to say it, I guess. Yeah, I extreme, I mean, extremely it's extremely smooth. smooth to go down. It, it, it's not very hoppy. Um, it's like a it's a normal beer, but it's 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 really really good with the flavor that it has. I think yeah. I think eight five or nine for sure. Well, good for a lager. So. So um, was it horse, horse with no name. Yeah. So horse. if you're coming to uh, Cowtown Brewery, horse with no name. That's the first one. Very good beer. Um, highly rated. Second one is a Pilsner. Looks pretty light. Um, got their cool, cool logo on it. Cowtown Brewing here in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, next one's a Pilsner. It looks like it's going to be really easy to drink. Yeah. She's super clear, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, like a, that weedy taste. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, definitely got sure. a real weedy taste, almost crackery. Yeah, crackery. Um, like really, a... really easy to drink. Um, definitely, it's good, super smooth. Definitely has the the cracker taste. Yeah, and that's the that's the biggest cracker taste I've tasted so far. Yeah, and so this one's called Hundo 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 P Hundo P Hundo P. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> they got some cool names. They got really some cool good Pilsner. Right Enjoy. It. I, I'm gonna give it a. A seven, yeah. six and a half or seven. It's real basic. Six for uh, me. This one right here is called Lift with Your. Live with her back. Y E R. Your back. Lift, Lift with, with your, your back. back. It's okay. pretty cool. It's it's an imperial stout. Um, it has a hazelnut and marshmallow finish, mm. and it's in collaboration with False Idol Brewing, which we are going to be visiting very very soon uh, over in North Richland Hills. So we are super excited for that. Let's get into it. Definitely got a real sweet smell. Like I'm, I'm like actually excited. It, it definitely smells like dessert uh, for sure. So let's give it a shot. Mm. Yeah. Very, very, very Ooh. dessert like. Chrissy becoming I mean, a stout boy. Okay. I mean, it tastes like you're drinking like a, a very liquidy, almost chocolatey taste. I definitely get that hazelnut and the marshmallow finish at the end. For, for the stouts that I've had, that is a really good one. I taste the marshmallow at the end. It's a little just, it's a little too powerful for me. On my on my stout scale, um, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to give that a seven five. Uh, I think that's yeah, I that's, that's pretty good. That's more fair to, to yeah. rate it on a scout a scout a stout level. Six and a half. Okay, six and a half. I, I, I think the one we had at uh, Tuscaloon whenever we were in Bernie, that one's a little bit better to me. The next one is called. Every everybody's doing it. Yeah, everybody's yeah. doing it. Um, it is a New England hazy IPA. It's IPA yeah. time, baby. Uh, IPA. We love hazy IPAs. IPA. Um, it's a double hop IPA um, with citra hops. So it smells good. It I'm, definitely when they brought it out. Oh, let's see. I haven't smelled it. Yet. I haven't. That's it. the first one I've smelled, and Ooh. it's got some. It's got some aroma on it. So for super sure. hazy. There's the logo again. If you know us, oh man, we love our little oh, haziness. Man. We love a little haziness in our lives. 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. What's this? Is I can it, melt. I can melt in that. A little bit of citrus flavor. So, I mean, oh yeah, like I could <laughs> fall asleep, fall asleep. Yo, with that beer. So, IPA. When when you think of IPA, you're gonna think of a little more hoppy side, right? At least in my opinion. This doesn't have that it's much mild. of a hoppy. It's mild. It's very mild. It's so good. I, I, I don't know, man. That's good. I, I gotta give that a nine out of ten. Yeah, that's. For I'm gonna sure. give it a nine. For sure. Uh, I mean, it's very, very, I, very good. I, I can't taste like a specific citrus. I, I can taste the citrusy, I, but usually, like if it's like mango, or if it's like a you know, you know, pineapple, or if it's like the grapefruit, you know, usually that stands out a little bit. There's nothing that like stands out to me. It's just like a, a really smooth IPA. And, yeah. And usually that's not that's not what you say about IPAs, but I really yeah. like that one. I'm, that's Extremely, a nine out of ten. For sure. Extremely easy to drink. Um, mm. So, oh, it's, yeah. again, everybody is doing it. it. has a really cool name yeah. here at Cowtown Brewing. Um, it's really good. Yeah. Easy to drink. So, pick two. If you got to pick two on this board here to give you know, everybody um, direction on what to do, what to get. So, what are you going with? IPA drinkers out there. I know you're out there. Everybody's doing it. What we just had, we just hyped it up. Um, get it. It's really good. I would highly recommend it. That's going to be my first one. And everybody's doing it, right? <clears throat> yeah, so. Everybody's doing it. My second one, for just the ease of drinking, um, if it's hot outside, and with a little bit more hoppiness, is going to be um, the horse with no name. Um, and that was a India Pale Lager. So it's yeah. a little bit lighter, um, IP, I, I guess, IPAE beer. So it's going to be a little bit lighter with still some hoppy taste. So I that's agree. going to be my two. I can't go wrong with those two. I, I mean, in terms of the stout, it was okay for me. In terms of my stout board, uh, the the Hundo P was was fine. I mean, it was just a normal pilsner to me. Um, yeah. EDI and horse. I, I mean, if you're going to get two from this, you got to get those two. Hundred percent. Hundo yeah. P. Sorry, not Hundo P. You are not included in that. Hundo P. It's EDI. Just, it's everybody's a, it's a doing basic it. pilsner. Yeah. Everybody's doing it, for sure. Um, I think I liked horse with no head, right? That's what's called. Horse with no name. <laughs> horse with no name, <laughs> guys. So it's okay. Horse with no name was better to me than EDI, but um, I mean they're two different beers, so you know, to each their own. Yeah. But anyways, those two for sure. Horse with horse with no name, and everybody's doing it. You gotta check those out. Those are super good. Yeah. Super super good. So. That's going to wrap it, it up on it our Oops. flight test. There it is. So, Cowtown Brewing, Fort Worth, right off the highway. Yeah, really close Can't to downtown. Get better than it. Can't get better than and uh, really easy to get to for the top flight crew. And it's actually starting to rain right now. Yeah, we're about to get rained on. So, on that note, we will freaking see you later. This was good. And check out Cowtown. Yeah, check out Cowtown Brewing. Miss Don't miss and it. We're gonna, got great breweries. We're gonna check out the uh, venue a little bit. So let's go. Peace. Are you ready? Really? Bro, okay, so Cowtown Brewery went from like a nine out of ten rating <laughs> to like a three out of ten. Everyone check this out. Mother loving fly <laughs> landed in my amazing IPA. Get out of here, Holmes. <laughs> Eat it. <Ew. laughs> oh, this man shit. just ate the fly. <laughs>